Hi. Oh my goodness, lots of people. Hello. How is everyone this evening? I'm trying to click the wave to you buttons, but Hi. not all of these are working. And Abby is here with me today. We are waiting I'll for wave. Irene. I'll wave. Hi, Fatima. Hi. Okay. There you are. <laughs> Okay. How are you? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you still have a connection? I think we have to wait for her to con connection to load. Okay. Oh, hi. I love reading comments. Do you like reading comments? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is taking a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> hi to you. Yeah. Hi. I said I said hi. She's saying hi to you too. I know. <laughs> I saw <it> first. <laughs> okay. I think we'll have to wait for Irene to come back. She might have lost connection because she was outside. So we'll just give it a minute. <laughs> How is everyone? <laughs> Is anyone else getting snow? We're getting snow and rain because I don't I don't know why. Global warming? I like rain. Very upsetting, honestly. And snow. I miss spring. Like what happened to spring? We had spring for like two seconds. And now the spring is gone. I like rain. Especially when you're thirsted to death because you have no water in your house. And instead of taking a rock and flipping it over and licking it. <laughs> Getting oh, water from me. Hi, there you are. <laughs> okay, yay. Ooh. Hold on. No, I can't. Are you going to be able to uh, keep connection outside? Yes, I think so. If not, I'll run back inside and you guys might just get an earful of mojo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yay. Okay. It's warm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. <laughs> I wish I could send you guys some like some of the sunshine. <laughs> oh, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, I can't check the weather right now, but I think it's in the 30s. It is currently wow. snowing. It's gray. It's gross. Oh my gosh. Well. Then... Oh my god! It's actually snowing now. <laughs> It's a whole mess out there. <laughs> here. I, I wish it would snow here sometime. I know I say that, and then if I were actually in the snow, I'd be like, oh, it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> then I get to wear my knits. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm totally jealous of the fact that you have sunshine and blue skies. <laughs> I think you're in like, a t-shirt right now. Like yeah. Yeah, I would be wearing shorts if I could find them but yeah it's just it's hot this week but apparently it's it's gonna cool down into like the or like the low 60s or something next week which is cold that's for cool. here <laughs> okay that's a cool down alrighty then <laughs> how are you guys we're okay <laughs> what are you doing back there oh my goodness <laughs> um, Abby wanted to join me because she had something to say. Okay. <laughs> That's exciting. I wanted to say thank you for my stitch marker. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you got them. I think it's super cute. Also, Aww. if you are to touch this without permission, I will pull their organs out. <laughs> 
Okay. I'll just send you a new one. Don't worry. I'll just send you a new one. <laughs> yeah, no I'm glad you like them. Like them. Oh, <laughs> murdering them is just slowly coming out their organs. That would be murdering corporate death. <laughs> Nobody likes that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's warm here. Oh gosh. And now it's windy and my eyes are going crazy. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're good. I love being outside. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. So uh of course we are here to talk about um, your stitch marker set for the Painting Blossoms okay. by Pop Pops. Yes. And I will be more than happy to be your Vanna White today. You just yes. let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, oh, I was so, I'm so excited to be making these. I, um, it took me a while, honestly, to figure out what I wanted to make at first because I had all these ideas. And then I was, I think I asked you like, well, what do you like, what, do you, what would you like me to make for you? And you said something along the lines of, well, like, you know what, you know, your people like and, like, what I like to make. So, like, oh, something food related. Huh. <laughs> so, I was like, well, what food thing do I like to make that would kind of fit into the box? And um, I love making the macarons. So it, like, once I kind of had those pieces, everything else fell into place and then I was like oh I could do a blue shell and I could do this spring green color for the cream and then it was the outside that was tricky because I've never done anything that small I guess in like detail kind of before so mm -hmm. it was exciting because like not only was I not only do I get to be a part of this really cool box but also I get to kind of expand my skills so um I, I, I had a lot of fun kind of putting it together and then they came out looking cute if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, but then I, and then I, um, when you sent me the pictures of like the yarn that was going to be in the box and the shawl that, um, that Tina designed, it was just like, oh my gosh, I know what I, I know exactly what I want to do. So it was just really cool to feel so inspired by everything else that was going to, you know, be a part of this. And it just felt, I mean, even though I'm all the way over here and I didn't really get a chance to talk to anybody, it just felt like such a collaboration kind of because I was so inspired by everything that was going in the box. So, yeah, I'm now I'm having fun trying to figure out how to remake everything because I did it really fast and I did like one, one, one. And then, oh, let me take pictures so I can make sure that I know how to do this again. I know how to do it again. Don't worry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But um, it's, yeah, it's, it's been such a fun experience. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, um, I was super excited to get the box of, uh, of the stitch markers. And honestly, when you when you sent me the photo, I was already like, oh, my gosh. Okay, oh. I started it. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay. Because I know you were like, oh, what colors do you want me to do? And I was like, no, no, no. This is right there. That one. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, nailed it. Perfect. It was, and like I got to use cutters that I'd never used before. So it was, it's just been really like, it's just been really a fun, fun experience. And play with, I, those colors I don't really, I don't really use with stuff that I've made, I guess. And I don't know why, because I love them. Like yellow is my favorite color. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, putting them all together and just seeing it and then imagining what it would be like, like next to the yarn and, you know, like dancing along people's needles. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so cool. So I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm so glad you got to use new tools. I know that is always fun when I get to like <laughs> find crafty things and use them yes. that I haven't used before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that was my, um, it wasn't like I had things in my cart already or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect excuse, perfect excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Abby, can you do me a favor and get me one of the double point needles off the table? The one, two, the needles are two points and they're in the, um, where the scissors are. Give me a stick. Can you give me a stick? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I just need a stick. <laughs> um, so while Abby is getting me a stick, <laughs> 
I will show off the stitcher markers individually and then also show them as a set. Yeah, so I, one of the things I've done with this um, macaron that I haven't done with anything else that I've ever, um, any other macaron that I've made is I decorated both sides. I usually only decorate one side. I don't know why, but, <laughs> but I really liked, um, I couldn't decide if I wanted the orange flower or the red flower. So I was like, well, there's two sides and there's two colors that I can't choose from. Why not do both? I don't like making choices. So <laughs> I just removed the toys. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, uh, well, it's a crochet hook. That'll work. How about this? <laughs> you have two now? Okay. I have I have to have extra. Just like when I wear my pajamas, I have a bajillion Ziploc bags in them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, and then here's one of the colors. And it was so fun trying to like mix all the colors, and um, I really liked the so the um, I know I don't know if we mentioned it yet here, but um, the mural that our the box is um, kind of inspired from the I love those flowers and just the way that they're painted and the, the use of the colors. And um, I had a lot of fun um, mixing the different colors together to try to not really replicate it, but kind of put my own spin on on what I saw. So um, I had, yeah, I, I tried to like match the, oh, like this flower looks like it would be good with these colors. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> And you went, no, you cannot eat that. <laughs> I've never had a macaroon before. Oh my goodness, I don't know that's what, that's what like. happens to me when I'm making my thing. <laughs> when you're inspired by food, it's like you have to have the food in front of you and like sample a little bit to really get the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> and I'm also wearing a shirt that says hungry, so. I oh my that's goodness. A little, that's appropriate for me. <laughs> I think we would get along. I like food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then let's see if I can do this without dropping the stitch markers because, nice. you know, we don't want to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yay. Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're spinning around. Okay. Stay, stay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, and I also, um, I try, I try to use the, the findings are um, sterling silver fills, which means that there's a little bit more sterling silver um, covering the, the <laughs> metal base there. And um, I know people who aren't too sensitive on the ears. Um, they like to use them as earrings, too, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> I do that with this, and I don't even have a hole in my earlobe. Yeah, okay. she does it. There you go. There you go. And I'm not going to get one. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure you will get one eventually. You should have Well, I didn't want to stab a hole in your ear when you were a baby. Well, I'm doing it now. I got my ears pierced when I was a kid, and then, like, my ear grew weird. And I couldn't, I what? thought I couldn't use it anymore. So I had to get them repaired. So sometimes it's good to wait. Oh, see. See there. Yeah. <laughs> My friend, like, she was going to get uh, her ears pierced. And she, every day she would just pinch her earlobes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Until she got them. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't think you have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think you have to do that. <laughs> I can get a coronavirus shot, like a vaccine, but I'm not punching a hole in my earlobe that will stay there for with one permanent earring for like a month. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. That yellow <laughs> one just does not want to behave itself. <laughs> it's just yellow. That's... Just keeps turning around. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am positive you cannot eat that. Would you like Irene to tell you that you cannot eat that? You cannot eat that. <laughs> like, yeah, I've, I've tried. Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my no, you cannot eat it. You have an entire cup. Oh, half a cupcake. 
<laughs> anyway. If you it, it'll be gone. That's all. That's yes. always. But... And you'll probably hurt your teeth. <laughs> Do you read comments? What? Um, I don't know. Do we have... What do we yeah, have? I haven't even been checking. Leaving. <laughs> Super cute. Yes, it is. A pointy stick. Yes, a pointy stick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying to help me out there. Hello, <laughs> teacher. Okay, I think I got through all of them. I can't tell if Instagram is acting up or what. Yeah. My phone's been doing like this weird even... thing. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, I just I have a really like sketchy <laughs> setup right here. <laughs> so, like my my phone stand is on its side because it would have been tilted weird and I would have been like like looking over so like on its okay. side like hugging my phone <laughs> and then there's a candle behind it to try to support it. But like I've burnt out the candle for a while or like for it's it's there's not that much left. <laughs> So it, I don't know if it's heavy enough. Anyway, I'm just hoping it doesn't get too windy because then, like, we're blowing over. <laughs> I'm going to do this. It looks like I'm a turtle. What? You don't have to do that. Yeah, because if I sit normally, my chin is here. Oh, so that's what I'm going to have to do if I, like, have my phone sound all weird. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bug. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. The things we have to do just to do videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to freak out. Bye. There's like, it's loud in there right now. <laughs> and then I was worried because like 10 minutes before I came out here, there was really loud yard work going on. I was like, oh no. But no, we're good. We're okay. <laughs> it's okay. We've all dealt with it. Either screaming or... Lawn mowing. Who knows? No, I yeah. That would be funny, but first. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to put me on the spot. <laughs> Kids. Uh -huh. no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like? What do you eat? What are your favorite? Food? We're here to talk about Irene. <laughs> I'm not even question. Ask her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um well yeah tell us more tell us more about you i've seen um obviously um these but i saw that you have like the little teeny tiny look um i wanted to call them shrinky dinks they're not shrinky dinks well, oh. <laughs> talking about I, I just really you like tiny things the little bees oh the like the little like um the beaded stuff yeah yeah I, so Basically, I've always really liked tiny things, and I'm pretty sure it started when I was little and I was playing with Polly Pocket. <laughs> so I just, as an adult, I, um, when I started knitting again, I, um, well, I guess when I started knitting the first time, I um, didn't believe in stitch markers. I was like, I don't need those. Those are just fancy, and I'm just, I'm just not going to use them. And then, surprise, surprise, I, like, stopped trying to knit in the round because I just couldn't keep track of stuff. And then, fast forward years later, and I decided to start knitting again, and I really wanted to try to knit color work. And with repeating patterns, just knowing myself, it made sense to, um, to have stitch markers. But I couldn't go out and get my own because I didn't know where to buy them, so I made some. And then I was like, oh, I really like this. I really like making stitch markers. And then I just started browsing, like, tags on um, on Instagram for just different types of stitch markers. I was like, well, what else, what kind of other stitch markers can I make? And they were all, like, clay and beads and all these really tiny things. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is my world. I love this. This is amazing. So then I kind of, I go back and forth between stitch markers and knitting and with the beads, I I just love them because, like, you take these tiny little things and then you could arrange them in a certain way and then all of a sudden you have this picture. Um, so I, it, it's been fun to kind of take, like, I'm a huge nerd. I love books and movies and just fantasy. So to be able to take, like, um, like Sailor Moon, take Sailor Moon and then turn her into a stitch marker and now I get to, like, 
Sailor Moon can dance along my knitting whenever I'm knitting. It's like there, I can't be the only one who is into this. So, um, and then also, um, my partner was like, "Okay, I I love that you're doing this, but you're running out of room." So <laughs> our compromise was that I would sell some of my stash, and then that backfired because beads turned into clay, which turned into resin, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just been a crafting journey um, that's been really fun, and it's been really it's been really nice. I've always loved making things, and to be able to make things for myself, to like find a place in this amazing community of people who like the things I like and who um, get excited about the things I get excited about, and then to also share that with um, my child. Now it's been really fun. It's been really exciting, and I just I love everything that I've been able to be a part of so far. Oh my gosh, that is really cool. You're really cool. <laughs> oh. oh my God, that means so much coming from you. I'm like, I'm blushing. <laughs> We're not playing a game right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you kind of feel like this. I'm now coming into a turtle with flappy arms on sides. <laughs> That sweater looks so cozy. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. I don't know what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've been really into turtles and sea life over here. That's kind of like what we're, I don't want to say studying, but just like Mojo's been really into. I've been watching a lot of whale documentaries. So mm -hmm. They're fascinating. <laughs> Abby um, read a book on like small pets, like rabbits and uh, mice. Rabbits, and rats, rats and, and mice. <laughs> oh, cool. <Yeah. laughs> it was oh, fun. Man. It said a bunch like rabbits or, yeah, rabbits, like they get really nervous and scared in cars and stuff when you put them in there. And when it's yeah. loose, when it's just like not uh, in like a cage or a box or anything, like in the mm -hmm. car, uh, it, that like it could distract the driver. That's true. That is very true. I'll have a look. And bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, I really want a rabbit, a mouse, and a rat. I want the rat the most. Oh well, do you, you see you, you would name it? Depends on what it would look like. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Can we share animal stories? Let me right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, if we have questions. Does anybody have questions about Irene? Um, Irene, can you say the name of your company? Because I've been saying it. Yes. I feel like I've been saying it wrong. No, I'd love to. <laughs> it's um, Ube Baby. And okay. It's, um, so yeah. Ube... So ube is, um, it's like a, I think a, I want to say a root or like a, not like, kind of like a sweet potato, but not really, but it's a flavor that's really, really prominent in the Philippines. And all of my favorite desserts from the Philippines pretty much have ube in them or can have ube in them. I usually, if I can throw it in there, I'm going to throw it in there. Um, <laughs> but uh, we used to, like Mojo's nickname when he was still growing was um, my ubebe. So I mean, oh. like, when I was trying to figure out what to name my shop, I was like, well, I mean, I'll just borrow that. It will be ubebe beads. Of course, it's grown past beads, but um, but yeah, it's ubebe. So ube. Definitely recommend any dessert that has ube in it. <laughs> um, I've had one. Trader Joe's had, I don't know if they still do, um, but they had a, a, an ice cream with it. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. It was really the ice cream. So good. <laughs> well, can we show off yarn? What? Can we show off yarn? You're not showing off yarn. What? You're talking about <laughs> stitch markers. I think you're confused. <laughs> um. So, for those that are here, did you have any questions um, for Irene about stitch markers, about the box? About, I don't know, anything, life, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask me any question. Um, 
Any question in the world that you're confused about, and I will answer with a logical, accurate, 100% accurate question. <laughs> Tommy, ask me a question about life that you have no answer to. How about you? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I have questions. I mean, might I have, have plenty of questions, questions, but I don't know if we can. <laughs> they might take longer than... <laughs> Aww. Oh, um, eight ray sun shops is no question, but you guys are amazing. You <laughs> that's mm -hmm. Mary. She actually designed this shirt. This is oh, I really? from her. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. My on the back, is... there's like a Pikachu or like a Naruto wearing a Pikachu. I don't want to. I'm scared to stand up because things are gonna fall over. That's like, okay. But we're okay. <laughs> we don't, don't want to lose it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't have anything on my shirt. It's, no, just, a, shirt. it's just a shirt. I know. Just show your shirt. You're going to show my shirt. There's nothing on this it. Is your, this is your shirt. <laughs> I mean, an interesting shirt. shirt. <laughs> this is my shirt. And this is my other shirt. Nice. It's blue and it has a rainbow. Okay, it's hard. Honestly, You're always saying. wearing the best rainbows. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> She does love rainbows. Yes, I love rainbows. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I guess just not cooperating right now. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> they, they just want to move. They're shunning. They're shunning. <laughs> They're shunning. They'll only show. They'll only unshun if you give them a million dollars. Oh my gosh! In oh wow! Peoples. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they would just never unshun then. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> um, okay, well, if we don't have any questions, um, just a recap. Um, this, we are talking about the stitch marker set for the Painting Blossoms by Pop Box. The stitch marker set is by Irene of Bebe Beats. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, pre-orders for the box will close on April 16th. So you have about eight more days before the pre-orders close. So go ahead and grab one if you want to get one. And they will ship um, five weeks after that. I don't remember the exact date right now, but it's five weeks. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yay. Can we ask each other questions? Do you, you can ask one question. I want to talk about what, what, uh, Do you have cats? I sadly know I want one so bad, but I'm allergic. So, oh, I no. recommend I recommend the Naked Sphinx. Oh, one of my friends two. has those, and she loves hers. <laughs> they have no hair, but they can grow hair, I think. Oh, Irene, you do have a question. Oh, yes. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. So the question was what materials allow me to be more creative beads or clay oh gosh I think it depends I feel well first thank you for your question <laughs> um and I think it's um it depends on what I'm trying to make so if I'm trying to um with beads I feel more comfortable um doing like characters so like um Iron Man Spider-Man the X-Men or like Lord of the Rings characters, which I'm um, I'm planning for my next update. So with with um, characters like that, it's easier in these for me. And then with clay, I mean, I've said many times, I love food. I'm very inspired by food. <laughs> so I feel like clay lets me kind of play with that a little bit better. And oh, that was a butterfly, I think. Um, it's fast. Wow. Sorry. I'm focused, I promise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clay, um, with clay and resin, I get to kind of play with that, um, with like food and desserts, especially a little bit more. So I, I think it's, it just depends on what I'm in the, in the mood to make. Um, but I, I love, I love both. I don't know if I could do one or like choose one over the other. What do you make with resin? Um, I've done like earrings and um, I've kind of, I tried bookmarks, but I'm still on the fence about that. Um, I make these chunky stitch markers, which are kind of fun. They're a little bit weird to use, but with my um, bulkier knits, I kind of like having the the sensory of those like really chunky ones. 
Um, and then I also, a lot of the times with different clay things I make, I like the effect of um, resin and clay together. So one example is um, one of the Filipino desserts that I make is a halo halo, which is, um, it's like a, an icy milk drink that has a bunch of things that you add in. Halo means um, to mix. So it's like a mixed drink and you mix it all okay. together. Um, but I, I use both. So I'll make the little filling. So just like the beans, the jelly, the banana, um, the jackfruit, I'll make all of those out of clay. But the, like the milk and the ice and stuff, that's all resin. So it's been nice to, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it all with resin and I wouldn't be able to do it all with clay. So it's been nice to kind of play with both and see how they fit together. That's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go on your feet more. Do you ever do like videos when you're making uh, that type of stitch marker? I don't, but I should. I usually just do beading because it's it's easier, it's faster, and like I've more often than not, I've got Mojo in the background like screaming or like demanding <laughs> like it's just like just got to put something together really fast. Um, but I think like little little snippets of I I tried to do one of the um, the yellow flowers. I was kind of putting together some yellow flowers. Um, the other day for the for this box and I was like I should turn this into a reel and my nails matched that was the thing my nails matched and I was <laughs> like oh this is perfect so I turned it into a reel but I'm definitely gonna I'll, I'll definitely try to do more of that because it's just fun to kind of see the progress and to see it all come together and then when there's a nice song in the background it's cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah it covers up those uh wayward noises from yes <laughs> Yeah. Oh, just, just a little. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you must be boxes. <laughs> Bob is my friend. You... Can I show her? Can I show her? Bob? You can show her box. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> You. This is Bob. <laughs> oh, hello, Bob. Oh my goodness, I like that hat. That's that's a that's a nice hat <laughs> and a very Bob's big pom pom. Is similar. <laughs> you can, can kind of be upsetting sometimes, right, Bob? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to steal. She likes to steal from him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we had to go on a whole heist to get this back. A heist. Oh. Yeah. We had to go on a heist. Yeah. Was oh, I heists there? Are fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> Ooh, Bob, stay. I'm going to mm -hmm. show my stuffed animals now. I'll be back. Bob, Bob. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make more videos with you making your cute stuff. See, um, we are we're all in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I I need to clean my desk. Maybe <laughs> all the mess can be distracting. I just go through these periods where like I have to make this thing that's in my head, and then it's like this tiny little space where I'm creating, but then everything is just chaos. And then it's like, oh, I did it. And then I look around and. And I'm like, I don't want to clean that up. I just want to <laughs> admire what I just made. But then, cleaning. Okay. <laughs> so this is Lulu. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my baby. Let me show off Lulu. Oh, here, there. Okay. There's Lulu. <laughs> this is Llama Bean. Oh, my gosh. A rainbow llama. That's super cool. Mommy has one that's slightly different, but kind of the same. Mommy likes mommies. She likes to meet them. And this is my stuffed animal. And if anyone hurts him and or scratches him, okay, we don't have to violence him, people. I will hurt you. We don't have to violence hunt people. You down <laughs> and take your whole family, and you are destroyed. So don't hurt my bun bun. Okay. Oh, I mean, I can see why you really want to protect bun bun. The story of him is one day. <laughs> hey! <laughs> one day, oh. me and my dad were going to like a store, and so I saw him. And I was like, "Hmm, 
hmm, I kind of want this. Probably because I want everything in every store, but I want this. And so Daddy was like, hmm, you about to take care of it for the rest of your life. And, I was like, yes. <laughs> and he gave it to me, and I was like, cool. At first, I was slightly iffy because, you know, he has these rips and all, but I don't care now. And so the thing is... Okay. <laughs> Do you see your I question, Violet? <laughs> oh, let me. Where, right. where? How do? Oh, okay, yeah. When you create a new design, do you draw it first or just dive in and start making? I should draw it. That's actually a really good idea. Or like write stuff down. That's my problem. I don't write stuff down, and it's hard. I just take a lot of pictures, I guess. But no, when I'm creating something new, I get this idea in my head of how I want to put it together. And then I kind of just see if it works, which sometimes it works. And then sometimes I wish I tried to draw it out first. I just, I can't draw very well. <laughs> so it's hard. But um, no, I, I, um, I think that trial and error works, works for me for now. Although I feel like I probably would save a lot of materials if I planned before I just started. <laughs> so... <laughs> good i'm gonna write that one down <laughs> yeah okay it's a question what who's that for uh that's i think it's for you um Yay. eight ray sun chop <laughs> i wish i have her storytelling skills okay cool <laughs> yeah. i think that one was for you <laughs> My best friend has a better one. she likes i i make her i used to make her tell me scary stories like about Annabelle oh my and that, just in case oh my we goodness. didn't and stuff because I would do that but like I was saying so basically the weird thing is that made me love him even more is you know you see him you see his nice face and smiling the thing is when I first got him his he wasn't smiling his face was just long stick like this oh my and so I slept with him and then the next you know not like that I mean he was just I hugged him and then I was sleeping and we were next to each other. We existed, and then in the morning, he was smiling. And Aww. I gave him and he's mine. Like I said, I will devour you, so I'll cut down your whole family. Okay, not okay, family. not with the violence. Not okay. No, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> Is your oh. child violent? <laughs> I also have a portrait to Sometimes. show. Let me put these back and then I'll sell the portrait. I have a lot of things. I have a million things. This is oh, like one. These people cannot stay here forever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so cute with a knit sweater on the bunny. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you haven't seen this either yet, Mama. So, recently today, my brother came by. His name is Cameron, and he was like, hello, and I was like, hello, and then he was like, bye, and I was like, wait, and mom was like, you just got here. So I made this. You can oh read it goodness. if you want, or mommy can read it. Read it. I'm not going to read it. Read it. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> so I made, I, I drew him. It was kind of a bad job, but it's fine. He just got his hair cut. Okay. So. Basically, I call him a lot of things. Oh my so, God. so, like here, uh, Cameron, Cam, 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 and Cammy. Those are some of the things that I call him. Uh, he's also my best friend. He's my buddy, and he's my he's the best brother ever. Also, he works at Huey Box, which is cool. <laughs> and <laughs> he's also the person I'm missing, even though he just I just saw him. Also, he is my dummy. Abigail. What? He's <laughs> dummy. That is so nice. <laughs> what is my dummy? Well. <laughs> and he also drew here, and no one can erase it, because if you do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? Not that right. <laughs> um, it wait. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. It just disappeared. What happened? Did you get guy bombed? Something flew by me, and I have no idea what it was. That was oh, okay. <laughs> Um, Eight Ray Sunshop says you have a future with public speaking or storytelling. Me? Yes, you. How cool. Yeah. <laughs> How much money do I get out of that job? Oh my good lord. <laughs> 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 um, 
<laughs> what? I still have to pay them a million dollars. Actually, I might not do that. Um. <laughs> All right. Does anyone have any more questions so we can let Irene go before something attacks her or something outside? <laughs> This just, I didn't know there were all these things out here at this time. It's nature for you. Nature comes yeah. out of nowhere. And just flies in your face. <laughs> so, I have to show something fast. They have to go. Why did you go? Please, child. There's no time for that. There's no time for, it was always time for breathing. No. What is that? My cat. That's oh. my cat. Oh. I have two cats. That's only one of them. Only. <laughs> what are Just your cats acknowledge, names? acknowledge what uh, jo uh Jones. He's ten months old. Acknowledge that he exists for five seconds. This is my dad's girlfriend's cat, Gladrio. Super cute. I also oh, have an, a, a, there's also another one named Foxface. Uh, I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> No time for breathing. I'm just gonna show you. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. My cat. Here he oh, is, my, my baby. That's Connor. Oh, he's so cute. Um, <laughs> so cute. He's two years old. I love him very much. Um, I call him uh, Connor, Simba, baby Simba. Oh. Simba that's been shrunken and turned gray. Um, there you go. There you go. Connie, Connie. Baby, Gucci, <laughs> <laughs> Gucci, Gucci face. <laughs> well, that's it. Okay, I'm probably gonna look at Tom Holland after this. Time. Yeah, what's your question? Oh, oh, okay. That's the other one. <laughs> Wait, I can't. Oh, oh, little nose. Bye, bye. <laughs> I do want a cat. I do. <sighs> Well, maybe get one of those naked ones. If you can't yeah. get a sphinx, oh. if you can't get a sphinx, then I think you should get like a turtle or a gecko or a tortoise. Tortoises are cute. We do like lizards here. I want a snake. I didn't a gecko. That's what I want. But there are people in the house that I'm in who are opposed to me having a snake for a pet. So <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. Those are mine. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up for the night. Thank you so much oh, for joining us. Thank you, guys. This was fun. <laughs> answering all the questions and listening to this one. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. I love it. The international speed there. What? No, the international speed. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if it's going to hit us. Bye. I hope not. Oh my goodness. Everybody have a good weekend. Uh, we are doing another live tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central with Tina Say. And uh, I hope to see you guys there too. Yay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye